My name is Mark Erdman. I am the Removal and Installation Coordinator for the Advanced Photon Source. My name is Ralph Bechtold. I'm a Principal Mechanical Engineering Specialist with the Advanced Photon Source. So the electron storage ring is where the x-rays are produced that they use to do the science. It looks like a large circle, but it's actually a section of straights and arcs. Where these arcs bend the electrons, that is what produces the x-rays. The APS upgrade is a DOE project. We're upgrading the current machine that was built in, in the mid-90s. As with all current machines, technology has improved. We want to continue to be a world leader. The Advanced Photon Source is going to replace its existing storage ring with updated technology, allowing it to produce x-rays up to 500 times brighter than the current APS. The reason why we want to do that is to stay at a state-of-the-art facility, and we want to attract scientists, and the way to do that is to increase brilliance. By getting that higher brilliance, you can do experiments in a lot less time, and you can do other experiments that weren't possible before. We're in building 981, which is the APS's off-site warehouse and assembly building. It's 100,000 square feet, and in this building we receive, store, and assemble all the components that will be used in the new APS. The reason we have this building is that we have too much equipment to put together and we had a hard time finding an on-site location to be able to build all the assembly work here. We found this large warehouse and converted it over to clean rooms, some assembly areas, and some storage. And this is basically where we're doing most of the assembly work for APS upgrade right now. The current storage ring needs to be completely dismantled and removed all of the components revamped or replaced with new components. This is estimated to take about nine months for removal and installation, leaving about three months for tuning and testing of the new storage room. The APS upgrade is very significant. We publish thousands of papers a year. There's hundreds of experiments that are done with things like pharmaceutical companies, material science. All of this information is used for improving all kinds of technology. We're running pretty much 24-7 seven days a week for most of the year. So the amount of information that comes out of this place is incredible. And now it's gonna even be better with the upgrade. I'm thrilled to be part of the APS upgrade project. The work is challenging yet very rewarding. It feels good to know you're part of something special. And how many people can say in their career they've built two light source accelerators.